Hello everyone, it's Julie from Camellia Crafts Designs. Welcome and welcome back. I'm here today with another M's Scrapbusters Challenge. That's the challenge run by Melina over at Me Crafty Scrapper and scrapbookingwithme.com. And it's a good one again. They're always good ones, but I particularly like this one. It's allowed me to go to town with butterflies. Right, it's, yeah, it's a little pocket. Well, little fold over pocket that you can then pop in a pocket in your junk journals, in a belly band, in a side tuck. Just make them to give us gifts, put gift cards in them, put money in them. And I'll show you how we made them. I'll tell you the size of mine. It's four by three inches, slightly different to Melina's. That's because I made a few boo-boos cutting up my paper. So I've rejigged the sizes. So I'll show you how they work. It's a matchbook style. The front flap fits in under that circle and you flip it up you've got journaling spot there flip it down more journaling space and the same when you flip it out so you can do an awful lot of journaling in there and like i say you could tuck a little gift card in or some cash if you were giving it as a gift you could even map those I'd, i didn't bother i might do before i put it in a project i don't know so there we have it right Let's crack on and make one. For mine, you're going to need two pieces of paper and you're going to need a piece of paper that is, let's jot it down, make it easier, <laughs> jot it down so I can remember, shall we, actually. You're going to need a piece that's nine inches by three inches and a piece that's nine inches by four inches. I believe Melina used a piece that were 12 by five and 12 by four. Well, I got carried away and cut my pieces to four inches wide, didn't I? Yeah. Then thought, oh no, you need one that's gonna be five inches. So I've rejigged the size and this is what we've got. So I've already got one here that is cut to nine by three. Yeah, it's not really that directional. So I'm gonna get away with using that. The thin one is going to be my outer, so that will be my top flap, and that bit there will be the bottom of my flap. And what's on the back? Yeah, some bits might look a bit sideways, but I can live with that. Now, the bit for the centre, the bit that goes across the middle. I've, this one I haven't put together fully, so I'll show you how it works. Yeah, so that's going to be a one piece, and this is then going to be the other piece, and we stick that in there. Yeah, so... It's something for the cross piece I'm looking for. I've got a few bits of my Timmy papers. We've got this one. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a bit directional, but I'm going to cover it up on this side. So it's not going to bother me. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this piece down to size. So I'm going to cut it down to nine inches wide. Let's get the big chompy chopper out. This is why sometimes my lengths are off. Can you see that? How it wobbles. And if you've not got it supported on that end, you'll end up with a longer piece of paper than you're intending. So I'm going to cut that down to nine inches. And then I'm going to make it three inches wide. Um, I think I'm going to use that piece. Then I've still got that bit to use on something else. So four inches. So there you go. Now that's nine by four. If I measured it right, it's nine by four. It could measure anything knowing me lately. Put that big chompy thing back away. Right. So let's show you how to go ahead and score these. I like to score my centre part first. So we need to score that at three inches. And we don't need that hair on desk. Oh, I'm molting again. So... We're going to see that bit when I open it and then I'm going to cover that bit up with paper. So I'm going to score on this side. So score at three and score at six. And just get away with my little uh, scoreboard for this as well. Then fold them both over before you go creasing them with your bone folder. Yeah, otherwise they might not fit. So lay that flat, then do your creasing. Yeah, and that looks good. I'm going to round my corners because I find sharp corners offensive. If you've watched me before, you'll know that. So, yes, I've had quite a lot of new subscribers this week. Thank you so much. 
I'm glad you're enjoying the content and thank you also to my existing subscribers. It's the fact that you are watching and engaging with my content that has led to YouTube showing it to more people. So thank you one and all. Right, so that's our cross piece. I'll now get this piece. Now, this one, I've scored this at just under three inches now the reason i'm doing it at just under three is so that this will fit in yeah you'll see why in a minute so i put it on my scoreboard then i've just hutched it along not a full eighth of an inch just a little bit less than that then i'm scoring at three then i'm going to turn it round and score at two yeah then when you fold those over, oh, I want it that way, don't I? Yeah, oh, I like that how it looks. I like that before I've decorated it. Now that should fit in nicely. If it still doesn't, you can always trim a smidgen off at top there. But I think, by George, we've got that. Yes. So, I will put the measurements up on the screen as we go along. So you just got to remember what I've said. It will be there. It's probably just going away now by measurements. Right. Let's round these corners as well. Do you know, I've used this paper now and I bet this paper doesn't need collaging like I've done on the others. Yeah, the others were just papers from some of my Works paper pads. Works is a shop in the UK that does books and crafts. And yeah, they do these paper pads that tend to be lovely on one side and a bit icky on the other. <laughs> so the good for this, have the nice one on the outside, the icky one on the inside. Right, I'm going to go ahead and do a bit of inking. So yeah, just talk amongst yourselves. Is it Gail Agostinelli who says that? <laughs> I think I've been watching too much of her lately because I'm picking up on what she says. Yeah, go and put kettle on, make a cup of tea. Tidy your desk. That's what I do when I'm watching YouTube a lot. Tidy my desk. I like to watch uh, Fiona Miss Paint a lot. I watch her lives while I pack my orders and tidy my desk. Even if I don't catch them as they're going live, I'll watch them after. So I know I'm going to be there an hour or so and I can get lots done in an hour. Ooh. And Fiona's one of them people I can just listen to. Melina is too. I've had people say that about me, which surprises me because my kids really would not agree. What, my mother's someone you can just listen to? I think they hear me too often though, don't they? Nagging and, yeah, pick up, put your stuff away. Can we try and uh, create less mess than we actually tidy? It's, this, it's been a strange week this week um, You'll notice I've not done as many videos I've not been here I've spent a lot of time answering comments on YouTube But my eldest has had the dreaded Yeah, Covid Luckily she's had it quite mildly It's not caused any problems for her In fact she's had waitress service We base, I basically shut her in a room and treat her like a leper <laughs> yeah, so I was going to put a sign on that said leper colony, but I thought, no, it might give a complex. Right, a bit more inking. So, yeah, she's basically, yeah, we've <laughs> delivered her meals wearing uh, masks and gloves. I so did not want to catch it, really didn't. And touch wood, we didn't. Me and Rachel have been testing daily, we're fine. And Becca is now testing negative, so back to school next week for her. But yeah, poor love. <laughs> but she, to be honest, she's slept loads, so it's not like she's got bored. Right, so we've now got the crisscross ready. We've got all that boring inking done while I waffled at you. Yeah. Now the first thing I'm going to do is glue that in. Because if that goes wrong, I don't want to have done out else, do I? If the gluing in goes wrong, I get wonky. I'm going to be abandoning it and starting again. 
So I'm going to use a wet glue because I want a little bit of wiggle time and I'm going to use my art glitter because yeah like I always say angry boons are not coming to tear it apart so I'm not going to put shed loads of glue on she says when it just splodged out and just a little wiggle across the middle that'll do me so line it up put it just below the crease can you see Get it in the centre as much as you can and then I like to close it up, hutch it down and fold the top over. I can see that's sticking out too much on one side. So I'm just going to get a little bit of a wiggle if I've not left it too late. Art glitter, you don't get a lot of wiggle time with it. You get some but not an awful lot. And I have not wiggled that quick enough. But did the world end? I don't really think it did. If I'd have not been talking, that'd have gone better. So do you know what I'm gonna do to fix that? So if yours goes wrong, you'll know how to fix it. I'm just gonna trim a teeny smidgen off there. Just a smidgen, not even an eighth of an inch. Yeah? Because we don't want it sticking out. Then I'm gonna hutch it up like that. And I'm gonna recrease it. Sorry, I don't know that. Well, you're not required to recrease things, are you, Gertrude? There you go. I've recreased that. Oh, it's still sticking out a bit. Crease, recrease it some more. Put it over a bit more, woman. There you go. How good is that? It's a bit wonky. So you need to hutch the top over as well, missus. There you go. Get some more ink on it. Blind man would be glad to see it. If you'd not seen that occur, you'd never know. But I do need to trim a teeny smidgen more off. So if you are one of my new subscribers and you've never read my About Me on YouTube, you will see that it says crafting warts and all. So yeah, if it goes wrong, <laughs> partly because I'm too lazy to edit, but partly because I do firmly believe you learn from your mistakes, I'll just crack on and put it right. Very, very rarely is something beyond hope. So, yeah, craft projects are like people, aren't they? Right, so let's pretend that never happened now. What did I say in the last video? If at first you don't succeed, pretend you did. Well, we had to put that right and I'm happy with that now. Right, next thing, I'm going to put my closure on. Now, what I've chosen to use is a circle of card, just like Melina did. An inch. I've got my one inch circle punch. Yeah, I happen to have got a circle there. Cause look, I've got a box full of little circles ready done. So rather than punch a fresh one, I do try and use one of my ready punch ones. That's what they're there for, isn't it? So, and I do this before I do any collaging. So I'm going to get that circle on there. I don't want it too far up or you'll struggle to tuck it in. Round about there, we'll give this a little bit of an ink because although it's brown, you still can see the ink. Then I'm going to put some glue over the bottom half of the circle. Now this is one of the things I've done slightly different to Melina. So pop it on. That's that's enough. Right now hold it down. So the glue is still setting. Then open that up. And I'm using my Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher. You don't need to use the Tiny Attacher. Any old stapler will do because you ain't going to see the staple. And it wants to be about halfway down and just pop a staple in. There you go. And that's going to help to strengthen that. Again, this was another necessity is the mother of all invention moments. What Melina did is she put a strip over and collaged it but my bottoms were so small I thought how else 
can I make that little circle a bit sturdier? So I've opted to staple it. And then to cover up the staple, because it didn't look too pretty, uh, that one I've just used a little round label. I don't know whose digital that was. If you recognise it, let me know, but I don't know. This one I've used one of the little snippets from the Tim Holtz Field Notes snippets. And this time... I've got a label that's a bit bigger and I've cut this out with my one inch circle punch and I'm going to cover the whole thing. So it didn't really matter what colour that were and I've inked it. I don't really need to ink it because I'm going to, oh, do I want to cover it? Oh, I don't know. I don't know if I like that light with all dark. It tends to stand out a little bit, doesn't it? I think I might go for something different. What we got, here's my Tim Holtz Field Notes snippets that were kindly bought for me by Sandra. Thank you, Sandra. And there are, are some more round ones. Is that, oh, that's going to be just far too small, isn't it? Far too small. And it's blue. I don't think I want that blue one. Mind you, that's blue as well. But I think I like that one. I do. So I've got another circle punch here that is three quarters of an inch. So I'm going to grab a scrap. I could use one of them that I cut off, couldn't I? Could I? Yeah, I could. I'm going to cut that. Ooh, that jumped in there a bit violently, didn't it? I'm going to ink round that. I'm just going to layer up some circles. Because plan A didn't work. I just don't like that. It would look good with those. But not with that. It's too dark, that card. So that's going to go on. So let's glue it. Use the art glitter again. Yeah, uh, art glitter is fabulous. And as you saw, you don't get a brilliant amount of wiggle time. So to be quite honest, when I'm not on camera, I do tend to use regular PVA glue. Because you do get a bit more wiggle time with it. And if you're using thick card, you're not going to get any wrinkling and stuff. And it's a darn sight cheaper, isn't it? A darn sight cheaper. Right, and then I'm going to just glue that one on. I think I quite like that little layered look. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I like it. That's cute. Hmm. Right, next thing. We need to put paper on the inside. So, yeah, I'll show you how I did that. Because that doesn't look too good at the minute, does it? Because we've got that sideways thing. Now, this is, again, where we're going to get some more scraps used. Here's all my tea-dyed scraps. This is how I save the smaller ones. I don't throw anything away. I'm, I'm too frugal. That could be a booklet. Oh, I've got some... That's a bit wrinkly, isn't it? We could use that. Will we get enough out? I think I could do it with that. I think I could do it all with that one sheet. I know it's not a scrap. But I've just said use scraps, then picked a full sheet. But I don't like the wrinkliness. And I'm hoping that when I glue this down with glue stick, it will take some of that wrinkliness away. Yeah, so I'm just going to grab a ruler. I didn't use my tear ruler. I just used my little ruler. Move some bits out of the way. And what I do is I then just fold back. Can you see? And I'm quite happy with that. I'm going to continue ripping all the way down. Because, yes, perfect. That was a happy accident, that was. But these are going to be right size. What's that? Move out of the way, mate. I'm just judging it by looking at that piece and that piece this time. So that bit can go there. I haven't bothered uh, inking the paper. I don't think it needed it. If you want to go ahead and put ink on your paper, nothing to stop you. You alter it however you want. I think most projects you see people do, there's lots more they could do. But it'd be an awful long video, wouldn't it, if we told you everything that you could possibly do with something. But that's half the fun as well, isn't it? You see somebody do something and then you think, oh, and I could do like this, that and other. And then it's become 
a project that was inspired by someone and it looks nothing like what they did <laughs> but that's good oh yeah it has it's, can you see those wrinkles have gone I've got a Timmy towel I keep remembering to use it it's just an old tea towel don't judge me on colour it did start off as grey it is actually lighter than it was <laughs> I think it got put in with some uh, a purple bath mat at one point as well, which really didn't help it. Right, so yeah, that's that. That's going to be the perfect width for that, isn't it? So, I think I'll put that bit on the bottom. Grab my little ruler again. And this way, your staple is covered up as well. The staple that's helping hold your circle on is now covered. There we go. I do love that ripping sound. Such a good sound, isn't it? It didn't used to be a good sound when uh, kids were playing. You'd hear that ripping sound and you think, oh, what are they up to? What have they done? What have they done? And my kids have been so minxy when they were younger. Oh. Well, I'm, I kid you not, one morning I woke up and my quilt and my child was covered in black glass paint. Black glass paint, you know those you go in tubes? Uh, the ones, you know when you're doing like faux stained glass windows and stuff like that? Yeah, that kind of glass paint. It's like, And it was permanent, it was very permanent, it wasn't going anywhere. At the end of that quilt cover and sheets. Luckily the child did come clean eventually. Didn't have to bin that one and get another. Well I did have a spare, didn't I? Twins, you know. <laughs> I do love to wind them up, so that. Right, so that's that. And, ooh, liking it. Loving using the Timmy towel. I'm reminded to use a Timmy towel now because I've been watching a lot of Fiona. She probably didn't know I've been watching a lot of her because I've been watching her in bed. And I don't comment when I'm in bed because I'm watching it on my little my Kindle on my Echo. And I don't know if you've got a Kindle, but... You can comment on YouTube, but what happens is the keyboard for to do the typing, if you can find it and if it works, comes up over where you're typing. So you have no clue what you're typing. And when I type, I do an awful lot of spelling mistakes. So I need to look at what I'm typing so I can correct it as I go along. I try it on my Kindle and I just type gobbledygook. Absolute gobbledygook. I love that word, gobbledygook. So that's that, and then hopefully this bit that was that was just so that could not have gone better, could it? Wow, I'm amazed <laughs> at how well that worked out. Wee. I'm going to, I'll take that creased bit off. I don't know, I'm going to do it like that because then I've got that curved bit. Not that I need a curved bit, but I just like the look of it. I've totally forgot which way's up and which way's down on this thing now. That's like me climbing up a hill. If I look where, look where I've been, I, oh, I've no idea which way's up and which way's down. <clears throat> bit of vertigo. That's how I first got diagnosed with vertigo. Uh, <laughs> I'd actually been walking and the walk had turned into more of a hill and almost a rock climb and we were so far up and I turned around to look behind me and I lost all sense of my balance. I didn't know which way we're up, which way we're back. I was terrified I couldn't move and yeah. I had to be walked up. <laughs> it was it wasn't funny, but it was. Where does this go? Put this this side. And yeah, it was so terrifying I had to mention it next time I saw a doctor about something else. And it also explained why I had so many why I were travel sick, why I had so many episodes of uh 
inner ear infections. Well, I'm saying that, I think that's the other way around. The fact that I've got vertigo came from the ear infections, didn't it? Anyway, I'm not moaning about ear infections. So yeah, it was just funny. Didn't know which way we're up, didn't know which way we're down. Or like a spider clinging onto a cliff. Right. Last piece. It's been an awful waffle fest this one today, again, hasn't it? And those of you that like the waffle will be loving it. Those of you that don't will be like, get on with it, woman. But I often say that to myself. Oh yeah, I like how those curved bits have gone. And how the lines have nearly lined up, but not quite. Could have been worse. Oh, I like that. It just looks so good. So can you see now, it doesn't matter that that scrapbook paper was directional and was running sideways. You can't see it. So there we have it. So then do, do, do. There we go. Oh, I love it. Right, I'm going to have to decorate it though <clears throat> so that it matches the others. But I think I'm going to need something darker and grungy to decorate this one, we aren't I? Uh, we can still go with greens. I'll bring my trusty collage box out. I think we need some, definitely need some of the green painter's paper. Ooh, that's a nice piece of dark tea dyed paper. We've got some brown paper. There's some green. Ooh, that looks good. What else we got? Yeah. I think it's time to get rid of some of this. Oh, bit read is old in text. Mm, not sure about that. And ooh, what we got here then? I don't know. I'll take a bit of that out. That out. That's when I've cut pages down from my botanical. That's the same book I used to make the bookmarks. Oh, that looks good. Right, I think I've got enough now. We'll make something. Just going to grab them blue tickets as well. That could look good. Right. So at the bottom, I think that's just going to be fine. I think I may stick a ticket on it. I may, I may not. I do want some of that. I'm just going to rip some edges. And that's ink. Yeah. We could keep it just as Timothy, but I want to collage. Do you ever feel like that? <laughs> something you really don't need anything but you've got the urge to do a bit of collage I really don't like that but I'll make the most of it I'm not sure I like that now there's a shiny and a non-shiny side to this I'm going to go with the non-shiny side ink it up Ink it up, put glue on woman. It's never been ink, it's glue. So when you make out, you don't know the difference between glue and ink. Oh, I did mention to... Uh, <laughs> I don't know this lady's name because the YouTube channel is uh, Canny Crafter and she don't mention a name. Maybe it's a secret, maybe no one knows the Canny Crafter's name. And she'd mentioned that she'd done a bit of a... Yorkshire accenting one of her videos, so I thought I might do a... Well, I might offend her now. <laughs> I don't know where, she, where she's from. It's uh, It sounds like it's somewhere Tyneside way. Could be Newcastle, could be Gateshead. Yeah, not quite sure. Could be over the left-hand side at Country near the Top. And that's about as good as my geography gets. I think I want some of that on. So, why I, man? That's as far as it's going to go. It's not an accent I can do. <clears throat> Excuse me. The frogs are back. Yeah, I've got different Swedes for my throat. I ran out at ones I like. 
the ones that work, the Jakemans. And I've been having soothers. And no. See, I did have a comment a while back. Someone said I sound like a gob gobstopper in my mouth. I do apologise. I do try and discreetly suck a throat sweet while I'm filming my videos. Sometimes I got carried away and I meant to start enjoying it a bit too much. I think I want a bit of lined paper on. I think that'll look good. I think. Yeah, I want the ripped bit there. I don't mind having straight bit at top because it's mainly going to get covered over by a piece of ticket and a flutter by I'm thinking there we go. I like that I wasn't intending to go round the button it just seems to have happened the reason I don't want to collage too far down is I don't want it to then get peeled up by that little paper circle Right, and I want to use one of these blue tickets. I do think blue will... Mm, I don't know. No, I don't like it blue. I've got some neutral and some green ones. The green one stands out too much. I think I may have this one. I'm going to be covering the number up with the butterfly. Let's get a bit of ink. And I'm going to stick this on with art glitter because it's a little bit of a thick one, this. I don't think the glue stick would hold it very well. I quite like that. I like how we've got the, like the grid bit. It matches that bit. I do. And let's find... No. Just because they were on my desk, I thought I'd try him first. But no, I don't like him. These are ones I auditioned for me others. No, I don't like you. Oh, I think I might like you. I don't know, you might be a bit too white. What about one of these cabbage whites? Oh, I like that. And then you hardly see any ticket, but it doesn't matter. I like that. I like the old veins in his wings with all these crisscrosses. There you go. Normally then on my own I'd think, mm, but could I have that one instead or that one instead? But I like the big one. When it's done, it's done. I might be able to find one that I like better in about 15 minutes time, but I could be doing something else in those 15 minutes, couldn't I? I could make something else. Right. Let's stick you on, mate. I think you will be okay with blue stick because you're cut from a book quite thin and you quite like that yeah well right, I'll, if I put him there we'll see that little bit on the ticket yeah and then yeah I'll have him in middle-ish middle-ish And then I think we need a couple of labels, strategically placed labels. Let's see what's in the Tim Holtz box again. I love these little snippets for all the little labels. I wish you'd do a full pack of just little labels. Oh, look at that, it's got a butterfly on. <clears throat> you know that round one I said I didn't want? <laughs> no, I can't use it. I said I didn't want it. Oh, I like that with number. Oh, that's liking. It's liking. It's looking good. I've put a little mushroom at the bottom of one. I don't want to put a mushroom on that. It needs a ticket or a label. Specimen. That's it. That's what it needs. I'll just glue those on. And these are the right pieces to use in the right place because Tim says so. Tim always says that's the right choice because you made that choice. We like. Well, I do. <laughs> I don't know if you do. <laughs> 
<laughs> I hope you do. I hope you like or you've learned some of it. One or other. Or both. So. That's that. Oh yeah. I'm quite, I think that's my favourite one. But it was Timmy Papers, wasn't it? It's always easier with Timmy stuff, I think. Right, so we'll put him in the middle. He's the uh, majestic middle butterfly. So there we have it. Um, I forgot what they're called. <laughs> Tuck in pockets with your hidden journal in spots. And yeah, give him a whirl. You'll enjoy him. So thank you very much for watching me. And I will see you next time. Bye.